Hello everyone and welcome back to another math tutorial with your teacher Mr. Geiger. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at how to convert a fraction to a decimal. So in this case here we have a mixed number that we are going to be converting to a decimal. It's important to know that when we are converting our mixed numbers to a decimal that our whole number always stays the same. So no matter what this one will always be to the left of our decimal point and it will never change. Now we're looking at saying how can we convert 5 eighths into a decimal. Let me show you how to do this. We are going to be doing this today with division. The way that I always teach it is a little thing to tell yourself whenever you're dividing with a fraction is this little saying. When we're dividing fractions it's top in bottom out. So when we're dividing top in, bottom out. 5 divided by 8. Top in, bottom out when we're dividing. With this now, we look and see, can 8 go into 5? No. So what we need to do here is place a decimal point at the end of our 5 and bring it straight up. And since 8 does not go into 5, we can put a 0. Now, I don't need to go through the process of multiplying this. I can just keep going. When we get to this point here, we want to add on a zero because five and zero tenths is the exact same thing as just saying five. We can always add more zeros to the end of decimals, but we cannot add them to the front. So please make sure that each time we are dividing this that you are adding more zeros to the right of your decimal until you do not have a remainder any longer. So now we're looking at eight goes into 50. How many times? Eight. 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. That was six times. And six times eight is 48. 50 minus 48, eight mi or zero minus eight, can't do that. So I borrow from the five, make it a four, and turn the t zero into a 10. 10 minus eight is two. Four minus four is zero. And remember, we still have a remainder, so we need to add on another zero to the end of our decimal and bring that down. How many times does eight go into 20? Eight goes into 20, eight, 16, two times. Two times eight is 16. 20 minus 16 now, zero minus six, I can't do it. Borrow from the two, make it a one, turn the zero into a 10. 10 minus six is four, one minus one is zero. I still have a remainder, so I need to continue adding on zeros to the end of our decimal numbers and bring that down. Now I have 40. 8 goes into 40, how many times? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Five times. 5 times 8 is 40. And then I subtract, 40 minus 40 is zero. So our decimal when we're dividing eight, or five divided by eight is zero and 625 thousandths. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this decimal here to the end of our numbers that we're working with over here. Remember one always stays the same. Five eighths becomes this decimal number over here. So all I need to do is just add the digits that came after the decimal point in my division problem. So therefore, when we convert a fraction to a decimal and that mixed number is one and five eighths, converts to one and 625 thousandths. I hope this makes sense, Pirates. And if it doesn't and you need extra help, please reach out to me through email or join in the Zoom calls for homework help. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in our next math tutorial.